welcome back to this video explain topics let's start at the end of this video students should be able to analyze and use encoder in various types of separate applications we are still in topic 5.1 i will explain in this video about encoder you have learned in previous video about decoder encoder is opposite of decoder from this slide, we can see the encoder and decoder pairs. In general, encoder has two power of an input and an output. If it has four inputs, so the number of output is equal to two. Encoder generates a unique binary code in response to activation of each individual input. Encoder put information into code. So, we have the information at the input and the unique code at the output. In this slide, you can see the example of 422 binary encoder. There is another one input here for number 0. But sometimes, we can ignore the input because the input doesn't connect to any circuit in the binary encoder. Since the process of encoder is opposite compared to decoder, so at the truth table, only one switch should be activated at a time. For the output, we have a combination of the binary sequence 00, 01, 10 and 11. This slide shows 8 to 3 encoder. We have 8 inputs and 3 outputs. Only one input high at one time. And the output is the sequence of 3 bits binary number. This is the equation for the 8 to 3 encoder. Three outputs, so we have equation of y2, y1, and y0. We take the high output of y2, so y2 equal to i4 plus i5 plus i6 and i7. For y1, it is equal to i2, i3, i6 plus i7. And for y0, the equation equals to i1 plus i3 plus i5 plus i7. From the equation, we can draw the circuit of 8 to 3 encoder using OR gate. We need 3 OR gates to implement the 8 to 3 encoder. Every OR gate is connected to the input as stated in the equation. Alright, here you can see at I0, it is not connected to anywhere. That's why in previous slide, the input 0 is ignored. Next, one of the application of encoder is priority encoder. This kind of encoder offers additional flexibility in that it can be used in applications that require priority detection. The function means that the encoder will produce output corresponding to the highest order input that is active and will ignore any other lower order active inputs. That's why in the truth table, we have don't care here. I0 is the lowest priority input and I3 is the highest priority input. We know in the encoder only one input is high at one time. But in priority encoder, it offers flexibility. Let's say two or more inputs high at one time. It will choose the highest priority input to proceed the operation. Look at the truth table. When input 0 is high, the output equal to 0, 0. When input I1 is high, and doesn't matter of the input I0 here, whether it is 0 or 1, the system will choose the output based on highest priority, which is I1. So, the output equals to 0, 1. If the input is 0, 1, don't care, don't care, doesn't matter the value here, whether it's 101 or 110 or 111, the circuit will proceed with input from I2. So the output equals to 10. When I3 is high, doesn't matter what is the value of I2, I1 and I0, the output will be 11. To design the circuit priority encoder, draw the K map. We have 4 inputs. Draw the 4x4 four four K map. We need two KMAP for Y1 and another one for Y2. So the input is I3, I2, I1, I0. Same here. First, for Y1, one input 0, 0, 0, 0. Y1 equals to 0. 
when input 0, 0, 0, 1, y1 one equal to 0. And when input 0, 0, 1, don't care. We look at the i2 and i3 equals to 0, 0. This, this row. And then i1 equal to 1 is here. Okay. We put 0 in this cell. Because value of i0 is don't care. So it can be either 1 or 0. Next, when input is 0, 1, don't care, don't care. So, we refer to the input 0, 1 at the K map is here. And the value of I1 and I0 is don't care. So, I1 and I0 can be 1 or 0. Because of that, Y1 equals to 1 at this row. Next, when I3 equal to 1, and doesn't matter what is the value of I2, I1 and I0. The Y1 equal to 1. So I3, 1 is in this row. We put 1 to this rows. And then after that, simplify the k map for Y1. The first one is I3. And this one, the equation is I2. Therefore, y1 equal to i2 plus i3. Next, for y0, when input 0, 0, 0, 0, y0 equal to 0. When input 0, 0, 1, y0 equal to 0. When input 0, 0, 1, don't care, output equal to 1. When input 0, 1, and don't care, don't care. For I1 and I0, the output is 0. When input 1, don't care, don't care, don't care, the output is 1. So I3, 1 is here and here. So the output is 1. Grouping the K map, we have a group of 8 and here is group of 4. For this one, the equation is I3 and the second one, the equation is I2 bar dot I1. From this equation, we implement the circuit. First, draw the circuit for Y1. We're using OR gate and the input of the OR gate is I2 and I3. And one more OR gate for Y0 and we need also AND gate. The input of AND gate is I2 bar and I1. I1, I2 bar. And then the another one input for all gate of Y0 is I3. Alright. We finish design the priority encoder. And this is the circuit for 4 to 2 priority encoder. I hope from this video, you can understand the concept of encoder and the difference between decoder and encoder. That's it for today. See you again next time.